Hey everyone, welcome back to the Now and Then Some podcast with Robin and Kaylee. I'm your host, Robin. And I'm your other host, Kaylee. And here we talk about everything from now and then. And then some. That's right. So what are we talking about this week, Kales? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is I went to the Harry Potter bar that you <gasps> talked about a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, did you love it? Um, Absolutely loved it. I'm going to pull up my notes. I can't believe it was still up after Halloween. Yeah, I thought... Maybe someone, it is a quarterly... Was it you that told me that it was gone? No. Someone told me, oh, it's gone after October, and I was like, well, what the heck? I didn't even visit <laughs> it. And then we were in Round Rock at the Piano Bar, and my friend Bailey was with me, and she was like, I really want to go to that Harry Potter bar that y'all talked about. And I was mm-hmm. like, me too, but I heard, you know, we had heard it was closed, and she's like, let me Google it. So she's like at the Piano Bar, Googling, Googling, she goes... Oh, my God. I think it's, like, right next door. It was literally two bars down. I know. I called them for you. <laughs> yes, I did. I texted. Oh, thank you for reminding me. My notes that I'm looking at. You never texted me to be like, we're here. It's awesome. The first one I wrote down is definitely writing this while I'm drinking is the first note <laughs> for the Harry Potter bar because yeah. I wanted to make sure that I talked about it. Kaylee texted me asking me to figure out if it was open. <laughs> I totally forgot open. I did that. And then you never texted me to be like, we went. My it bad. was great. It was my nothing. Bad. My but bad. I called and it was the... <laughs> bar next to it that has the bathroom in it and yeah. they're open till two so I'm like they're connected it's the same place so. I totally forgot I texted you to do that thank you <laughs> you're welcome um, we went and I loved it and I ordered the Wingardium Leviosa mm-hmm. um, and it had a little red wine topper on it cool which I love red wine so then it also looked super like cool like Wingardium blood red Leviosa. yeah it was so not Leviosa uh, it was Leviosa Saw. Thank you, Robin. Um, it was so good. The freaking details on the ceiling. I mean. They had the little chair with the sorting hat. Then we so had a cool. whole probably hour-long conversation about what house we are. Mm-hmm. So it was just, it was good. What's good the vibes. name of the little thing that's in the pot that screams? A mandrake? Yeah. Okay. Was that just a trivia question you <laughs> wanted to throw Somebody asked me? me at the okay. bar and I got it, but it took me a while. I saw so many. No, babies. I almost had it and my friend told it to me. And I was like, dang it, you oh, didn't yeah. let me. Mandrake, I saw so many babies dressed up as it this afternoon. Very this cute. Yeah. Very cute. That's a great costume. It is. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was all I had. I was it a really long it. wait? No. For a drink? No. We went on a Tuesday and it was packed, Walk, but it was before Halloween. Walked right up to the bar. That's the move. Go after it Halloween. It was... It was lovely. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay, what you got? What do I have? Oh, we did trivia. Oh, yeah, we did. And we won in my heart. It, but not in real life. I texted you <laughs> afterward, and I was like, we won in my heart. Yeah, and that was a rough. Was. That was probably one of the toughest nights, I would yeah. say, that I've been to at the Pluckers Trivia. Mm-hmm. Um, no free plugs, Kaylee. Oh, sorry. At the <laughs> Trivia at the Wing Bar. Um, it was a tough night, but yeah, we did not win. We did well. We, we killed right. it in the... Um, the pictures one. The visual round with the pictures mm-hmm. and then the, I feel like the music round we the did really well. The music round we did really where well. Where it's like name that tune in the artist. We killed that. I had to get up from the table the second time they played it because the table behind <laughs> us was so loud and I knew I was so close and I ended up getting two of the you did. titles of the songs when I got up and stood as close. She to, had to go in just her stood own in the world wall. over there to come up with it. but My head, my forehead was like against the wall. I was like, <laughs> just focus. <laughs> Let it happen. <laughs> The music is within you. <laughs> and then she runs back over to the table with the answer. Yep. That was fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Cool. All right, let's get into this thing. All right, let's start with the and then. So my and then is the game, because I'm staying on the game train for this week. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Okay. LLDDR. So is that the one that's at like an arcade or at home? Yes, Robin. Yes. Okay, so they're in arcades now. But when I was a kid, it was all the rage. It was a new game. We had the mat. We were the house with the PlayStation 2 and the mat. Why does that not surprise me? Right? (laughs) And everyone, all my friends would come over and we would play Dance Dance Revolution for hours on end. And the work, like I would say the best slash worst part about it was when I was a kid, I lived in a two-story house. So our game room was upstairs and Mm -hmm. so my parents room was downstairs the living room was downstairs so we would just be stop 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 and my parents like oh my god we have regrets why did we get them this game (laughs) but oh my gosh hours on end playing dance dance revolution and they didn't have it like it wasn't in arcades at that time like it was just the mat at home now it's in arcades but the ones in the arcades are kind of janky i feel like because they're like they hard. don't always they don't always pick up your steps yeah. like the mats were really i felt like really the sensory was good mm-hmm. but the ones on arcade i 
Trust me, I've played a lot. I've yeah. tried to play a lot. <laughs> it's not the same because I was on an expert level at home. I'll bet. But yeah, that's a good workout. Oh yes, I was. I mean, I'm telling you, hours. We have something similar for the PS5, I believe. Just Dance. Yeah, well, Just Dance. I had that on the Wii oh, okay. later in life. Yeah, I. I mean, it doesn't have the mat, but I'm really good at the um the one in the arcade that's similar. It has the four quadrants, but it's almost like the Beat Saver. Beat Saber, Beat Saber, where you're like slicing the fruit kind of a thing, like Fruit Ninja, but it's with, you have to <laughs> I hit, know what Fruit Ninja is. Yeah, it's with your feet, though. You have to do it to the beat in oh, the different combos. Same kind of vibe. Yeah, there's that place downtown or down south called Cidercade. Have you been there? Yes, I've been there once. Yeah, so they have that there. I was very good at it. Okay, yeah. I dig it. Nice. I, what I would give to be in my game room playing Dance Dance Revolution. We have to see if we can get it for the PS5. If you get it. Or the Switch. I have both. I'm going to want to be here at all times playing (laughs) Dance Dance Revolution. I love it. And my game room is upstairs. Boom, boom. I'll be getting it. (laughs) We call it the rumpus room in case you were wondering. (laughs) There'd be a lot of rumpus in there. Let the wild rumpus start. So that's my end then. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, mine is the movie Harriet the Spy. Starring a young Michelle Trachtenberg. Oh, I can't say that I've seen it. Yeah, that's not surprising. Um, Because we'll just add that to the list that grows every episode. Mm-hmm. But I do know Michelle Trachtenberg. Yeah. Georgina from Georgina, Gossip Girl. and I also think of her from the Disney movie uh, Ice Princess, the oh, okay. ice skating movie. Do you know what I'm talking about? Nope. Hey, I got her. Yay, <laughs> go you. Um, yeah, so I looked it up. It's from the 90s. I don't know exactly when. It's a Nickelodeon movie. Okay. It has Rosie O'Donnell. Okay. And I was watching the trailer today because it popped up on my Instagram with a meme that was like, if you don't know what this image is, then you cannot claim to be into true crime. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) I thought that was funny. (laughs) Um, But it was her debut. Um, Fun story. I ran into her on the streets of New York once about, I don't know, 15 years ago. Yeah. Coming out of Bergdorf Goodman's or whatever that store is. And she was so rude. She gave me and my friend that I was with the biggest stink eye. Did you say hi or anything? I think I was like, whoa, you know, oh my gosh. Yeah. Because Gossip Girl, height of Gossip Girl fame. And she just kind of scoffed and rolled her eyes at me and put her sunglasses on and just kind of walked around us. I was like, that was Michelle Trachtenberg. But I didn't really, I mean, I'm sure it was like. Why is this person in my way when I'm trying to leave the store right now? So that's fair. They always say never, never meet your idols. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> but there's this scene in the trailer where she's slurping her soup. Oh, back to the soup grind. And Rosie O'Donnell goes, Harriet. And she goes, good soup. And that was in the trailer. So I thought Love that was it. funny. Love but it. I also went down a rabbit hole of the cast of Harriet the Spy because they looked familiar. One of her friends, I was like, what is she from? What is she from? I'm scrolling down IMDb, scrolling. And she's from... A Little Princess. Oh, I do remember that movie. Oh, oh my God. We used to, me and my sister watched oh that movie gosh. all the time with the, the little girl with the little curls yes. and her dad her and the dad. whole. And then oh. he comes back and he's blind. Yes. Oh, yes. And he I doesn't remember. know that it's her. I remember that. Or that she's right there. I remember that like fully ingrained in my brain. Yes. We watched that all the time. So good. And A Secret Garden or Secret Garden. I, I remember it, but not like yeah. I remember The Little Princess. Little Princess, Don't so ask good. Me why. I want to rewatch it. I watched it probably, you know, a year or two ago with my daughter. Oh, okay. And she liked it enough, but we didn't watch it again. But it was, oh my gosh, it all came flooding back to me. I was sobbing, oh, yeah. crying. You just said that, and I'm <gasps> like replaying the movie Memory in my brain. unlocked. Yeah. yeah. So good. So that is my, and then is, I guess, Harriet the Spy and A Little Princess. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. You want to move into the now? Let's go to the now. Okay, wait, before we jump into our full on now, I just need to make a quick announcement. Mm -hmm. For those of you that don't know, Love Island Games (gasps) is here. I have not watched yet. We talked about that like a while back about Love Island Games and Love Island Mm -hmm. All-Stars. Love Island Games is out. I cannot wait. I think there's only three three episodes out. Mm -hmm. I've only watched the first one, so I'm not going to say anything because I want... Have Let's talk about it? the first three next time. No, I haven't. Okay, not. great. Then we're not going to talk about it. But yeah. announcement, it's out and it's got like a bunch of people. Curtis. Curtis from the UK. It's got a Silly. bunch of people from the See? UK, USA, Australia. Australia. And there's like one, as where I'm at right now, one from France and one from Sweden. Oh, cool. So you got a mix on there, but they got some good people to come back. Right. Some of the stars. Some stars. So I'm very excited about yeah. it. I'm only one episode in, but... I, you know, it always Who's your fave better. that's back that you're like, oh my gosh, Liberty? Oh, oh I do like Liberty. I like Liberty. Um, I like K 
Callum from Australia cracks me up. Yeah. And he's beautiful to look mm-hmm. at, but that's a separate story. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Liberty. I like Sully and Justine from Sully, USA. I was like, Sully? Sully and Justine from USA. They were also <gasps> yeah. on... I'm going to spend one episode talking about this show, but not, it's not today. But The Challenge mm-hmm. on MTV, they were on that oh, one wow. season. I so know. I extra liked them because they were on Love Island, then they came on The Challenge. Love it. And now they're back on Love Island. So nice. I'm excited. I just need to make that um, announcement for y'all that it's out there on Peacock. Yeah. So watch along with us. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait until we start getting the Love Island UK vernacular back into our <sighs> vocabulary. Seriously. Yep. Okay. Well, that- cute. Who <laughs> said that once and then never again? I was like, is that our first catchphrase? <laughs> Never well said cute. It again. If we make merch, we should make well cute merch. <gasps> I have something to tell you. Okay. I'll tell you later. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll just tease it right now. Way to like leave them all hanging Sorry. out there. Next week I'll tell y'all. After this I'll tell you. Okay, deal. Okay. Um, what so we have... Golden Batch. Golden Batch. As I per usual. so many notes. Um, I was wondering when they first started, because it's hometowns, three women, Yep. how long in between each trip. He and it seemed like as it went on that it was like one day here, yep. one day there, That's one day there. That's what he there. made it sound like. But I thought it was weird whenever he saw Teresa. The first time time visit was for Teresa. She was like, I missed you. But I suppose you could say that if you just hadn't seen them in a day. Yeah. And if you haven't had a one on one, like you've only had small convos at like cocktail mm-hmm. hours or group dates, like I feel like I miss you as in like, yeah. I miss like that one on one. Yeah. You know? And also, Robin, you know production out there we don't know if hers was really the first true like they will mix it up and make us think whatever so that's true knows? speaking of production oh here we go man tugging at those heartstrings with the grandkids okay first note on here grandkids yeah i mean <laughs> so cute heartwarming him yeah. hanging out with the grandkids yucking it up his laugh is so like boisterous and yes. genuine and him just laughing at these the, kids. It was the grandsons doing the duck lips. But I wrote that, that one down. I just died. I said that was amazing. Yep. Um, I also just melted when one of the, the three grand boys said, I just think that you should be the new pawpaw. Oh, that was sweet. And I'm wondering, did production feed them that line? Again, who knows? A lot of the questions that these kids were asking him. Oh, they definitely help him. Yeah. They definitely help him. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was so sweet when um, her sisters were ta- were speaking so kindly about her. Yeah. I'm like, that is so, it just seems so genuine. And I'm and then I'm like, I wonder what sis would say about me. You know? like, <laughs> I don't know if she'd be that sweet about I'm me. I'm sure she'd give you a glowing review <laughs> on national you, television. Oh, that's true. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing to do with that. Just, you know, mm-hmm. that's how she really feels. Mm-hmm. Sure, um, sure. <laughs> overall thoughts of Teresa's visit. What do you think? I thought it was good. But again, I go back to, I don't see the passion there as much as yeah. I do with the other two. Again, great hometown. Great mm-hmm. vibes. Very sweet. But mm-hmm. She didn't... said she's in love with him. And he said that makes him feel so special. Yeah, but what did he say to the other two, Robin? I know. But then afterward, he said to the confessional, I'm in love with Teresa. So not the same as you literally being like, I, I have love you. to tell this person yeah. I love them. Yeah. Even though we all know you're not supposed to do that. Yep. I mean, she is just so in on him. She is so 100% for him. Mm-hmm. Thinks they're going to spend the rest of their lives together. And I do feel like she's probably going to be the next one to go. That's my prediction. But I don't, I don't know. I hate that they left us on the cliffhanger. That just really. Yeah. We should have led with that. They ended with the final rose being me. given out. I'm not being given out. No, about to be given, given out. It's that irked that me. was rude. Just rude. Just tell us it's in the final two. Yeah. Why are we dragging this out? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think she's probably going. Mm-hmm. If she doesn't go, if Faith goes, I'm going to be shooketh. Because mm-hmm. he literally was like, do you want to say it out loud? Oh, I just that got was chi- so I just got chills. Do you see these? When I just in rem- front of her entire family. family. I'm like, he did that because he felt like he needed to say it. And to I wrote- me... Oh my gosh, chills, all caps, when he said it out loud in front of her entire family. I just got chills talking about mm-hmm. it. Like, I don't know. That to me just felt so much more like passionate and like he has to say it because he mm-hmm. feels it so strongly. And I think he just feels it so much more strongly for Faith than he does Teresa. Yeah. I mean, he told Faith's own sons that he's in love with their mom. Yes. Actually, he said, I kind of think I am. I mean, that's a big commitment. The only thing I will say on hers, though, that makes me nervous is that they live so far apart. They live so I far apart, it. and she, oh, yeah, <laughs> you mapped so it. So 
Faith, from, from Indiana to Washington, without putting in the cities, guess how many hours that is for a drive? I have no idea. I'm 31. 31. No, that's really far. Um, well, that's not Teresa's good. in New Jersey, 11 hours. God. And then Leslie's in Minnesota, 12 hours. So he's screwed no matter what. He's screwed no matter what, but the Faith one is. And the, the tough part with her is she was like, I can't imagine leaving my boys. And I know he doesn't want to leave his family. And I was mm-hmm. like, no, 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 and no, And she no. lives on a farm for some reason. I did not see that coming. No. but thought it, April was the farm But chick. I kind of love that he got up on the horse he with her. I was like, horse. this is just the cutest thing in the whole yeah. world. Again. For a second, I thought, why are they putting this old man on a horse? Oh, uh, here goes Robin. <laughs> Thinking the old people can't do anything. <laughs> They're going to like give the horse a little poke yeah, so it starts to buck a little bit. Gary. We got to get you up there, buddy. <laughs> Gives a little pony, a little donkey. <laughs> I do a tree. <laughs> uh, that do- that uh, horse that he was on had a leash. We just couldn't see it. Yeah. Production. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that was that was really sad. I was crying when they said goodbye, and he was like, "You made me feel so special." Oh, and Faith I'm, said, "You are special." I'm telling you, dude. I feel it with them. So if he sends her home, I'm really gonna be shook. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to talk about Leslie's? Yes, Leslie. Um, I really enjoyed her family. Like how blunt her brother was with him at first. Of course, he came around. They All the family comes around. Oh, they always do. Sisters were so sweet. Grandkid asked if they were in love, if they were a couple. Just Mm -hmm. that, I think her family, to me, was just like the softest. Okay, but I have to say something. What? Did you notice how many times they said... You're just so unlike who she usually dates. I was like, that's a red flag. Who is she out there dating? Literally, that's what I was thinking. I was like, that's weird that they have all said it multiple times. I'm like, what kind of guys does she usually date? Weirdos? Bad guys? I think bad guys. Guys that are super old, super young. Like, what does that mean? They kept saying I bet it means younger, kind of bad boys. That's what I see for her. At least I could be very wrong. I would agree. Allegedly. She looks so good. So I would say probably younger bad boys too. Amazing. I thought that was kind of weird. I'm sorry. I got to call that out. Other than that, those comments, yes, very cute. Mm -hmm. But I can't imagine my life without you, he said to her. I feel like I'm with my person. I could see Leslie being my future wife. Oh, yeah, I know. And then kissing her up against that rock wall after they said, I love you. Woo! It's getting a little steamy. A little steamy out here. Steamy in here, Gary. Your grandkids are watching. <laughs> yeah, I, I, again, I go back to I think Faith and Leslie are the top. Yeah. Um. One thing I wrote was he just, he said he's just not realizing that he doesn't know how he can reconcile the strong feelings he's having for three women. And I wrote in all cap, just now? <laughs> What do you think was going to happen, buddy? Right. Hello. Welcome to the process. Sorry, my dog is sitting next yes, to you and you're she's stretching. YouTube, uh, this blanket's moving because there is a little uh, dog creature under <laughs> here. Um, but anyway, yeah. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If he sends Faith home, I'm going to be one, upset. Number two, shocked. Yeah. Shocked. Yeah, me too. I wrote, OMG, OMG, OMG. I can't watch. It's too sad. Do all Bachelors cry like this? Is it this sad all around on all other seasons? No. That was so sad. No. Now, I will say there have been some where it gets, like, pretty emotional and sad, but not every yeah. season is even close to this amount of emotional yeah. mess. So he, the point that I'm referring to is he was about to give out the final rose yeah. and just totally broke down, had to step away, was totally. leaning over, you know, yeah. head in hands, yeah. head, head between the knees, breathe, just breathe, and it was like, oh, my God, this man is 72. Mm-hmm. Whew, that was That was a lot. So he had to take a minute. And then he puts down the final rose, so and then annoying. boom. So annoying. I wrote, not the cliffhanger. Production, I'm not happy with you with that. Sorry. No. So we'll see what happens <laughs> next, this little dog. All right, so we'll see what happens next. But that's Golden Batch. Okay. Did you have anything else to need? Selling Sunset. Okay. New season came out. It dropped. I watched all of it this weekend. Have you watched? No. Okay, I won't but say I don't, too much. I don't usually. I think I've only seen the first two seasons. Well, I don't normally watch The Bachelor. Yeah, but Selling Sunset, to me, trust me, I love reality TV, but it's just not my fave. Okay. But tell me about it. Well, um, I think that Chriselle, you know, she started out as Justin Hartley's wife, Wife. and he left Mm -hmm. her, and it was devastating. She's so sweet. Then she dated Jason. Right. And she's just bombshell. And now she is married to G Flip. And uh, so they showed that a little bit, which was nice. We hadn't really seen that much of of um their relationship relationship or Mm -hmm. or g wouldn't really go to events and they did um but there's this woman on this show nicole okay who is quite literally the worst 
Okay. And I know that they edit it, and they need a villain, and Christine is no longer on it, so they needed a new villain. So why is she the worst? She is, I, I mean, she is just so uptight. She can't just go with the flow. She has to call people out. Um, I'm a stickler when it comes to being on time. It shows disrespect. So, I don't know. She just doesn't choose her battles. <laughs> she just is obnoxious. Like, she just needs her. to... She's just, yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. And she brings a weird energy to the group. So mm. I, I don't really appreciate her. Um, there is some funny exchanges between Jason's, at the time, girlfriend, who's very young, model, Russian. Of course. Marilou, Are surprised in the slightest here? And Chriselle's just kind of like, I don't need to be friends with you. Like, I don't, I'll say hi to you. I'll be nice. But I, I'm losing brain cells having this conversation mm-hmm. right now. So Chriselle got a little mean girl with her. Oh, but now they're not even together anymore. So who cares? Okay. I mean, everybody's feelings are important, but yeah, it was, um, she was just kind of obsessed with, with being friends with Oh, Chrishell. see, that's weird. Yeah. It was, it you was should not like, be obsessed she, with being friends with the ex-girlfriend. No, and that's she keeps weird. complaining about it to him. And he's just kind of like, I don't want to get in between. Yeah, that's weird. Very odd. So that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Good watch. Good binge. How many episodes is it? Ten. Okay. I think... Like I said, I've seen some of it, and I've Maybe watched. 12. I've watched a couple of episodes here and there with my friends yeah. that watch it. It's just not my go-to. I the production say. value is so good. They really over the seasons. You could see there's one season where they were all very filtered. Okay, I watched that season. Yeah, I, I've, or at least some of it where I was like, "This looks." Mm. I think they're still filtered, but it's very crisp. Crisp. Now it's crisp. not like uh, crisp. It's not. <laughs> um, this is an ASMR podcast now. <laughs> Hello. Mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> but the homes. I mean, they just keep they're up beautiful. in the ante. Just millions multiple millions of dollars mm-hmm. and i will say i always gorgeous. do love to see the homes mm-hmm. cool all right should we move on yeah what are we doing fantasy fantasy all right okay fantasy football so i started on thursday night with george pickens mm-hmm. he didn't get two feet in for the only touchdown that he would have had and it got called back oh. and then i think he maybe had an injury possibly but he ended with negative point one. <gasps> Robin, that's mm-hmm. brutal. So I went in with my proj um, to Sunday, like at forty five percent. It kept going down, down, down. Mm-hmm. Um, Ingram was on a buy, so I dropped someone for David Njoku. Njoku. Um, in, mm-hmm. Njoku. Mm-hmm. Njoku. He was listed as questionable, but he ended up playing. He did well, um, decent. And then going into Monday night, I needed Eckler to get ten point four points for me to win. That seems doable. He got 19. Yay! So I won. Robin, congrats. Pretty low score. Um, it was against one of my one of my best friends, Betty. So honestly, if she would have won, we both were pretty low scored. I would have been like, well done, madam. Uh-huh. But uh, Eckler pulled it out for me. Good. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank so you. So what's your record? Um, I don't know, but I'm in, okay. I'm in second place. Okay. Yay! No, maybe third. Either I'm way. up there. Yeah. Either way. That's yeah. great. Yeah. What about you? I won. Thank the Lord. God. I was like, am I Crazy. ever gonna am I ever gonna win again? Like is this just how my life is now? Right. I won. Nice. Um so I'm five and four. Okay. So I needed the win to be on the positive side of mm-hmm. things. Um I'm six and three. My defense that sounds right. Six and three. That feels right. I think it's around there. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Um, so my defense went off. <laughs> you know how I drafted the people playing against the Giants that I said is my I had them, too. The Raiders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, That's my strategy every week, if possible. Nice. The ones playing the Giants, I can't remember who it was. They were not available for me to make the trade, so I'm sticking with the Raiders for this upcoming Mm -hmm. week. I noticed that whenever I uh, was looking at my lineup on Sunday. I was like, oh, my gosh, I have the one that she was talking about. If you can get the (laughs) – here's my (laughs) advice. Um, If you can get the team that's playing against the Giants for defense, get them. Highly recommend. I think they got me, like, 20 points, which is outrageous for defense. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's great. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron Jones and Myers were both super solid on the running back Mm -hmm. side of things. Um, Now, I will tell you, coming up this week is going to be tough because the Chiefs are on bye. Yep. And I have sweet old Patty Pie and Pacheco, their running back. Mm -hmm. Um, So I had to make a couple moves. I tried to pick up a new QB because my backup right now is Trevor Lawrence for Jacksonville. And he just hasn't been that great. So I was like, who's out there? I tried to pick up Jared Goff, but... Did not get him off the waiver because mm. I'm tied for second. Mm. So I am not getting first pick on these things. So mm. I'm roll, I'm rolling with Trevor Lawrence. Um, and I had to make a couple other swaps from my, my backups for running backs because Pacheco's out. So we'll see. I'm hoping for another win. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. 
had to make a couple buy situations. I'm, I'm going to have to, yeah. Yeah. I've got Rice, and he's on the Chiefs, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see about the running backs, but yeah, go us. Go us. We both won. <laughs> All right, uh, what's next? Uh, let's take it over to a little fun segment. We have a very special guest. Oh, yes, we do. All right, well, as promised, we are joined by a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Sawyer Love. That's right. This is my nine-year-old daughter, and she likes to watch the podcast with me, and so she had some thoughts, and oh. so I thought, let's bring her on the pod. Hit me with your thoughts, Sawyer. Okay, so one thing. I cannot run on the playground. You cannot... Wait, I'm sorry. What? You cannot run on the playground. You cannot run on the playground. So I recess. You go out to the playground. And you cannot... You can't run? No. Run? No. Wait. On the oh, we're just going to mosey you along to the swings. <laughs> what? So, like... Okay, so we have a playground. Then we have a basketball court. Mm-hmm. Then we have a football field. Kids today, am I right? Okay, so... <laughs> on the playground, you cannot run. You can just... Do mosey, stuff on the mosey along. And then on the soccer field, you can run and run and run and run. Okay. And then on the that makes sense, basketball floor, you can... can why can't you run on the playground, though? Because you're going to get hurt? I think so. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because one person... Um, one person. It's always one person. <laughs> one person, um, they were running, and they... Mm. Yeah. Bonks their head. I just, like, I ran. We were running the playground. We were that running. Was it. We were running around. Jumping. We were hanging. We yeah, were just all the falling. things. Yeah, that's just part of being a kid. Yeah. So, I have these books in my class, and my mom told me, I, ha- I have this book on the plane that I got when I was going somewhere. It's and the it's Babysitter's the Club. The Babysitter's Club. And th- my mom said, oh my gosh, I remember this when I was little, but they look totally different. And I remember, oh yeah, my teachers have one of those. So I brought them from my school. Here, I'll show you. Okay. So, here's the first one. Okay. So the OG Babysitter's Club. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm not even kidding. This is the one. I have this on my list to talk about at some point as an and then. This is called Little Sister Number One, Karen's Witch. And it has Karen looking around the corner at her neighbor, who is an older woman. And it says, is Karen's next door neighbor a witch? My sister and I, maybe my friends, I watched the movie version of this so many times. Never, I don't, I don't think we owned any of the other ones. But this specific one, we watched over and over. This is wild. They have some pictures, like a little... We are going to pretend like I didn't just break that. (laughs) Not the pages ripping out. (laughs) That was was not my fault. (laughs) Hilarious. You said wit. (laughs) We have video evidence. (laughs) And they heard you in the mic, not ASMR. (laughs) Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So... You were saying? <laughs> <laughs> you just want whip? Okay. So, this one looks so different. That it's one looks different. like it won't break in half like this one did, though. Okay. Can well, thank you one? very much for bringing this to us. Did you like being on the podcast? Yeah. Will you come on another time? Yeah. Okay. Yay. Thanks, Sawyer. Thanks, Sawyer. Robin. She's so dang cute. I know. Isn't she just the best? The best. She's just a little mini Robin out there. Love it. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to get into my rec. Okay. It is Dexter. Ooh. The show. First time? uh, No. So I'm rewatching. So this could be a a now and then rec, honestly, because it's not a new show, but I'm rewatching now. Love it. Um, It's just good. What season are you on? I'm on season three right now. (gasps) Such a good season. (laughs) Do you remember what happens in each season? I mean, I remember the Trinity Killer. Yeah, I'm not there yet. Is that not what season, season four. three is? That's season four. What's season three? I, season two is Ice Truck, right? So f- season one is Ice Truck. Season two is the Bay Harbor Butcher. Mm. Season three is... I'm, I'm in the middle of it, but it's 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 hard to explain because it's not like this serial killer. Right, okay, never mind. It's kind of an in-between story. Okay, okay. season four That's then is the best. Season four is the Trinity. The killer. image of the bathtub will, will forever, forever haunt me. Haunt that me. lives rent-free in my brain I'm not against there yet, my will. But that's going to hurt me. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm re-watching right now. Just a good show. The inner like dialogue that Dexter gives the whole time, I think, makes it. That's a great one to rewatch. It is. I haven't watched it since I originally watched it, which was, I don't know. Did you ever watch the... Nine years ago? The tag-on season? No. Okay, I did. 
Was it good? Are you I've, heard watch mix, it? I've heard mixed you reviews. You have to watch it. You have okay. to. Well, when I finish rewatching, then I'll go to the, the tag on season. Okay. And then let us know what you thought of it. I shall. We can discuss. Okay, that's my rec. Okay. My rec is an and then. The movie okay. Romeo and Juliet. The one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. And that scene, it just came on my something video where they're meeting each other for the first time through the uh, fish tank and the song is playing. Oh, my friend walked down the aisle to that song. Oh, that's sweet. It's so Not going to lie to you, Robin, I don't have a vivid memory of it. I only watched it once in school. I had to watch it in school. I had it on VHS. I watched it all the time. Never watched it on my own. Watched it in school one time. Oh, it's so good. Just the directing, mm -hmm. top notch. One of my favorite directors. And it's got John Leguizamo as Tybalt. Mm -hmm. And just, I remember appreciating it because you understand what's happening even though it's in Shakespearean, you know, English. Yes. If you've never seen that movie, that would be my recommendation. Um, I don't know if it's the season for it. Maybe... Wait till Valentine's Day? I don't know, but it just popped up on my feed the other day, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is just an all-time great. I dig it. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that's it. I think that's it for this week. Y'all, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching mm-hmm. on all the things, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram, all the stuff. We need to make another ticky talkie soon. Yeah, we need to get back on our, our yeah. social media grind. That's right. <laughs> yes, thank you for watching and following. Make sure to leave us a comment, and we will see y'all next week. See y'all next week. Bye, guys. Bye.